The feline diet, by and large, is rather simplistic, and when comparing a cat that lives off the land to the family house cat, there really is no comparison. The diet of a house cat is rather basic, and that's just the way that it should be. Of course, it's almost impossible to discuss the feline diet without talking about the haves and the have-nots, what your cat should eat, how much, and what exactly to avoid. And when it comes to wet food, and if your cat can consume it every day, the answer is yes. A resounding yes, in fact. However, there's just a bit more to the story. Just because cats can, and probably should, have wet food each and every day doesn't mean that dry food has to take a back seat and be completely off limits. In fact, a healthy mix is very important. The reason why wet food is the pinnacle of a cat's diet really comes down to three reasons. Supreme hydration, roughly 80% moisture, lean meats, and a meal that is high in protein, more specifically animal protein. Beef, chicken, fish, and turkey are typically the heavy hitters. Felines depend on high amounts of animal protein to survive. It's really just that simple. When we think healthy, visions of carrots, broccoli, and spinach probably come to mind perhaps apples and oranges. Cats don't need any of that stuff. In the feline diet, all of that is essentially our version of junk food. And because the feline diet is so simple, animal meat protein, cats can have wet food each and every day, as it will meet their nutritional needs day in and day out. And while I did sort of gloss over the hydration factor, that is just as important as everything else. I read stories quite often from people talking about how their cats just won't drink water or their cat is not drinking enough water. It's not uncommon for cats that eat wet food on the daily to avoid plain water. Why? Well, because a breakfast, lunch, and dinner of wet food is handling those hydration needs. And while wet food alone is no full-time replacement for water, most cats that consume a wet meal aren't really all that thirsty during the course of the day. Never underestimate the importance that hydration plays in a wet meal. Your cat is sort of getting two base hits during one at bat with a wet meal, especially daily. Earlier on, I did give a nod to the dry food. It's important to have it around. Not only can it supply your cat with variety, but dry food is also helpful in the dental department. It can dramatically improve your cat's dental health, keeping those teeth nice and clean. Sometimes I'll personally just mix the food up. Wet food with a few dry cat treats or wet food with uh, some dry food. While it can be a one-way street, it, it doesn't have to be. It, it's fine with just wet food, but you can mix it up. That's, that's perfectly fine. Dry food is less expensive and can be left out much longer than a wet meal, so it does have some advantages. Additionally, if your cat is underweight, dry meals can help your pet to perhaps put on some pounds, some needed pounds. Every cat is different. Personal food taste and textures age, body type, and overall physical health, and underlying health concerns, the objective with any diet is to supply your pet with what they need. Your cat's food should be like a signature, appealing to them and them alone. If you are in the mind to mix your cat's meals, both wet and dry food, please speak to your vet and come up with a good plan, a solid plan. And while this topic is about wet food, I just wanted to show a bit of love to the dry side of life. Mixing it up, it can help your cat to receive the full benefits that each side, wet and dry, do have to offer. And that's really it for today. No reason to reinvent the wheel over here. <laughs> wet food is indeed the champion, so bring out the trophy. And while it might not be totally, you know, unanimous, proper wet cat food has a pretty strong winning streak. If you think your cat has a favorite brand or a favorite texture, uh, different styles, favorite flavors, go through a bit of a trial and error until you hit on something that your cat really, really loves. As for the dry food, grab a small bag or two, something just to have around and mix in from time to time. I mean, hey, 
even coffee drinkers might have some tea every <laughs> every now and again. So, the viewers of Senior Cat Wellness, it is now your time to chime right in. Do you feed your cat uh, wet food on the daily or is it dry? Do you mix up the foods? Does your cat have a favorite meal? Or do things seem to shift sort of like the wind? Do tell. The comment section is open and it is, as always, all yours. And before I get on out of here, I would like to thank you so very much for taking some time out of your very, very busy day to join us right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Question, did you like what you heard today? Did you? Did you? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to this very channel right here. <laughs> and until next time, you know how it goes. Fill it in. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> we will talk to you later.